Hey guys, welcome to my latest um, craft update. Today I have resin, polymer clay, and I've been in pieces to show you. I'm um, sorry it's been so long since my last update, but I actually have a couple of craft shows this weekend, so I thought I would do this update. So let's see, the first piece I have to show you guys is this Rilakkuma piece. It's pretty simple, it's just Rilakkuma and it's got some silver hearts and some real pretty pastel glitter in the back. But I really, really like how this one came out. I think it's really cute. And it's just white on the back, and it's hanging from a pink, delicate ball chain. Next up, I have this lumpy space princess piece. This is a hand-painted piece. I just painted her here on this cameo. And it's kind of hard to tell, but there's like different colors in the back as well. And it is on a star beaded chain, and it has a purple pastel chain. The next piece I have here is this Rilakkuma space piece. And I really love how this piece came out. Um, I was kind of lazy and I didn't seal my stickers here. So the edges are a little watermarked, but you really can't tell. I think it's still really cute. And this one is on a blue delicate ball chain. Next I have this purple moon. And this one just has star stickers and sequins and it has purple glitter on the in the back and it is on a gold chain. Oops. Next I have this little twin stars piece. If you guys watch my um, resin, uh, watch me resin video, you watch me make this piece. So here it is hanging from a chain. Next I have this Adventure Time Fin piece. I can't remember if I've put this one in an update before. I actually did this one a really long time ago, but it kind of messed up when I domed it, so I had to sand it and redome it. But now it's all pretty and finished, and it's got a green ball chain. Then I have this little pug piece. I think it's really cute. I don't know what he's saying, but he looks kind of distressed, so it looks really cute. It's pretty pearl in the back, and it has a red ball chain. Yeah, I guess you could say I've redesigned my purse charms, and that I've made them kind of really extravagant, and I've added all this stuff to them. I've made some ribbon straps, and it has all this really cool stuff hanging from it. And I think it looks really cute when it's hanging from your purse. So this is a gold one, and it's got this really cute little kitty in a coffee cup. Or I guess she's in a teacup. have another kitty purse charm. This one is green, done in silver. It's got a really pretty pastel purple ribbon and these really pretty like glass beads and this little key charm and a pearl. These are glass beads, these are like acrylic beads. And that's what that one looks like. And it's on this silver lobster clasp. And the final purse charm I have is this um, sugar skull piece. And this one was also done in gold. It's got this rose bead and this little leaf and an anchor and a black ribbon strap. And this one has a gold lobster clasp. That is all of my resin stuff, so I'm going to show you guys my clay stuff. I have this Hello Kitty donut. Then I have this um, Sailor, Mar <laughs> Sailor Mars, Sailor Moon Compact. And once again, if you saw my um, polymer clay tutorial, you saw me make this piece. But now I just have it hanging from a chain. I have a regular donut here, and it's got all kinds of sprinkles, and it's got chocolate drizzle on it, and it's also got a bite taken out of it. And that one's on this pink chunky chain. Next up, I have these little book charms that I made. And these I made using a tutorial, and I will leave the name of the user down, um, down below or I would put it here on the video actually because I can't remember off the top of my head um, where I saw the video for these little book charms but there's three of them and they're really cute and then I have a strawberry swirl cake I have this brownie sundae with a little cherry on top this was also inspired by a user and I will leave that information below I have this little piggy girl I have this little Lydia chibi from um, Beetlejuice I have a Hello Kitty ghost and a little koala. This was also inspired by a user whose name I will leave below. I have this little, I guess, kitty paw or puppy paw. 
Then I have this little teeny tiny molcajete is what it's called and it has guacamole inside of it and a couple of little chips. I don't think I have ever been so proud of a polymer clay charm. This is without a doubt the charm I am most proud of. This is a chibi of Frida Kahlo, the Mexican artist. And I did a couple, ver I did, well this is actually the second version of this charm that I did. The first one was kind of not so great. And then I made this one. It's kind of messy on the back, but I think it came out really good. I'm really happy with it. And I hung it on a gold chain. Next up I have this Selena Quintanilla um, chibi. And Selena is a Tejano singer, if you're not familiar with her. She's very popular um, in, well, all over the world, but especially I think here in my part of the country. Uh, so I made this one of her, and this is a prototype by, it's kind of messy so I want to remake this one, but I still really like it. And lastly, I have a couple deco den pieces to show you. First I have this Totoro one, and this is similar to one that I have made in the past, just slightly different. And it's got strawberry drizzle, and it's just a little tin box. Next I have this deco den phone case, and this is a Hello Kitty Sweets themed piece. And everything on here was handmade by me. Now this is kind of weird because I glazed this donut, this chocolate donut here, and for whatever reason it looks like the glaze never dried. It is dry, it just dried white, which I don't understand why I did that and I'm kind of upset that that happened because I was really happy with this piece, but oh well. <laughs> um, so this is for an iPhone 5. So yeah, that is my update for today guys, I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, let me know which one's down below that you like the best, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.